Hey guys, what's up? I am excited for today's video because I am bringing back my favorites. So I used to do a series called Favorites and Forget It and it was just me going through like monthly favorites, products that worked, products that didn't work, and then I turned it into like seasonal favorites because I felt like I was very repetitious in the products I was mentioning and I ended up cutting it out all together and last year instead of filming favorites videos I did a shop my stash series and I did monthly makeup picks where I would pick out five products in the beginning of the month my goal was to use them that month and then I would come back and talk to you about how I did and pick new products each month and in the beginning I really enjoyed that series, my monthly makeup picks and shopping my stash, but I was doing a 2018 project pan, then I had this shop my stash I was trying to start, and it got to a point where I felt frustrated when I was doing my makeup because I was trying to use up the 18 products that I picked for 2018 on top of trying to use my monthly makeup picks. I couldn't talk about favorites because I, I don't try a ton of new products all the time and it just got to the point where I wasn't enjoying it anymore. So I put a little poll on my community tab and on Twitter and I asked you guys what is it that you like more? Do you like Shop My Stash or do you like Favorites videos? And they were pretty close, but more people said they liked Favorites videos. So I thought what I would do this year in 2019 is do like a recap, a monthly recap, and just kind of talk to you about products that I've been using in the month and what I think about them kind of little mini reviews. Some of them will be new products, some of them won't be so new because I don't, I don't, I'm on a low buy, okay? So I'm not gonna be going out and purchasing a ton of new products. So I'm just kind of dipping back into my stash and trying to pull things out each month. But I figured by doing like a recap favorites video, that would be easier on me as well because I do have a 2019 project pan. And I told myself like I need to have some sort of schedule, like I'm a scheduler, I need to have some sort of schedule where on certain days of the week, I am dipping into just those those items in my project pan. So I picked Tuesday and Thursday. Tuesday and Thursday are my project pan days. I have to use the products that I have in my project pan. So I'm not gonna talk about them in favorites because I'm gonna update you in my pan series. But um, yeah, so the rest of the week I get to I get to play with new makeup. So I've been rambling. Why don't we go ahead and get started? My goal in every video when I wear my hair down, my goal is always to not mess with it. But I watch so many YouTubers whose hair just stays perfect the entire time, and that's just not me. Also, it's a dark and dreary day, and I use natural light, so we're gonna try to get the best lighting we can, but we just, we gotta roll with it. All right, why don't we start with face products? I didn't grab my primer. Hold that thought. The primer that I have been using and loving is this Marc Jacobs, okay, this is a long name, Invisible Undercover Perfecting Coconut Face Primer. I picked this up, was it during the VIB sale in November? I think so. I'm actually down to where it says Marc Jacobs. I have been using and loving this primer. It's super hydrating on the face. It definitely gives me added moisture, but I do get a little bit of tack. So I feel like my foundation is really staying on my skin, which is what I look for in a primer. And I really love it. It has a more expensive price tag. I want to say it's in the $40 range. But like I said, I got this during the VIB sale and I've been really loving it. It's super hydrating, feels good, smells good. I love it. Then for foundation, I have been using my Tarte Rainforest of the Sea a ton because I really love that foundation. It's what I'm wearing today. But also in my project pan because I'm almost done with it. But there were a few days that I stepped away from Tarte and pulled in my NARS, what is this called? The, the natural, here we go, natural radiant long wear foundation. I am in the shade Fiji and I actually picked this up last year, was using it and was loving it found out I was pregnant and in my pregnancy skincare routine video I mentioned how there are some skincare and makeup products that you should kind of stay away from during pregnancy and I found a website 15 minute beauty 
She's a doctor of some sort, and she researches ingredients that are safe during pregnancy. And for a while, she said not to use this foundation because there wasn't an ingredient list. But then later, once the ingredient list for this foundation came out, she said that it was safe to use during pregnancy. Of course, consult your OB. My OB told me, wear whatever makeup you want, but I've been loving this. I just use one small, tiny little pump, but my skin has been so dry during the winter and during pregnancy that I usually add a little bit of oil to that as well. Sorry if you can hear the fan, but I got hot. Okay, so we talked primer, we talked foundation. My husband called me in the middle of filming. Let's talk about the concealer that I have been wearing. I actually picked this up during, was it during the VIB sale? Well, maybe not. I picked this up because this is a concealer that Desi Perkins talked about a lot and it is the Becca Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. I got the shade Fair. And when I used up my Urban Decay Naked Skin, which is my holy grail, I picked this up to try and I have to admit, I don't love it. It's, sorry, it's okay. It's all right, it's an okay concealer, but I don't love it. I don't really like the, the doe foot applicator. It's not very flexible. It only picks up a tiny amount of product, which you may enjoy. The color is fine, but it's just not a favorite for me. It doesn't crease under my eyes, which is nice because I do have like creasy, crepey under eyes. I have these fine lines going on there, but it's okay. I don't like it more than my Urban Decay Naked Skin, so I'll, I'll keep using this, and when I use it up, I will go back to my Urban Decay. For face products, when I am not using my bronzer in my 2019 Project Pan, I have pulled out this Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow. I got this for my birthday. I had been wanting it for the longest time, and I absolutely love it. It is such a beautiful, natural bronzer shade. I use it to bronze up the cheeks, and then I go in with my Makeup Geek to kind of contour and make it more defined. I also like the highlighter. The highlighter is very natural. It gives you just like a natural, subtle glow. So I typically would go in with the highlighter and then another highlighter that I talk about in a minute to make it pop. But if you're someone who wants like an everyday, natural, you can wear to work kind of look, then this is a really, really beautiful palette. It works really good for every day. I wear it to work, no problem, and I don't feel like I'm overdone. So I've really, really been loving that. The other highlighter that I have been reaching into was one of those little minis that I got from the Becca Macaroon set, and this one is in Vanilla Quartz. I thought I was going to jump on the opal bandwagon and be obsessed with opal like everybody else seems to be, but I actually like vanilla quartz a little bit more. It's a little bit lighter. So what I do when I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury is I go in first with the Charlotte Tilbury highlighter and then I take just a tiny little dab of vanilla quartz and put it just on the highest points of my cheek and it really makes my face pop. So. That has been the bronzer and highlighter that I have been using. And sticking with the Charlotte Tilbury theme, I love this blush. This is the blush that Nicole Guerrero talks about in Sex on Fire. And I like it because it's a perfect neutral everyday kind of blush. You have a deeper mauve in the middle and then more of like a pinky shade on the outside. I mix it and swirl it together. It's super pigmented so I usually swirl it, tap it off a little bit, a little bit on each side and then blend it out. But this is like been, it's been my go-to. My go-to every day when I'm not using my project pan. I go for this blush and I've really really been loving it as well. My mascara combination I used both of these up so they will be moving to my empties, but I have been combining the Monsieur Big by Lancome, the sample that I got for my birthday. I would go in with one to two coats of that first for some volume, and then I would take my Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express Mascara and do usually one to two coats on top of that to kind of separate, lengthen, and give even a little bit more volume. And so I really, really love that combination. I actually think I want to purchase a full size of this guy. Both of these have started to dry out. I've had them for maybe about three months-ish, so I'm moving them into my empties, trying out another mascara currently at the moment, but I do really, really love that combination. Then, 
some lippies that I was using this month. I definitely got some use out of this guy. This is the Too Faced Melted Matte Lipstick in the shade Sugar Cookie. This came in the quad, the, what was it called? The Christmas quad. I talked about it in my haul video. I can't remember what it was called, but this is the nude shade. And it actually, it looks like it would be super light, but against my light skin, it's definitely much more of like a, a deeper pinky, pinky mauve nude. And so I really, really love that. I was using that a ton. I also was using from my little quad with Dose of Colors, what was it called? Warm and Toasty. I think that was the name of it. I was getting a lot of use out of Truffle. Truffle is even darker than my Sugar Cookie. Sugar Cookie was like, if I wanna go for more of a nude lip, I would reach for Sugar Cookie. But on days where maybe my eyes were real, real minimal, I would reach for Truffle because it pulls a little bit deeper and more pink on me. And then, because I am a liquid lipstick junkie, when I'm at work, I like to wear my liquid lipsticks because they don't rub off, but after lunch, I don't always want to go in with another coat of liquid lipstick, so I have been taking my Buxom White Russian Lip Gloss and just kind of coating when my liquid lipstick starts to fade away. I put a little coat of this on, or if my lips are starting to feel super dry, which has been happening to me in winter and pregnancy, then I would go in with the Buxom White Russian as well, and I love it. It tastes good, smells good. It's a little tingly, so if that's not your thing, then you might not like it, but I really enjoy it. Then, I have three different eyeshadow palettes that I have been using for the month. Sorry if I'm out of breath. This is just, this is, this is the new, this is what I was telling my husband. This is the new, my new pregnancy symptom. I just got into my third trimester, and I'm always out of breath. If I'm like talking, or walking, or doing anything, I get out of breath. <laughs> I have been reaching into my Makeup Geek Z palette. I love Makeup Geek Cosmetics. I love my Z palette here. But I have been trying to reach for other things lately and Makeup Geek kind of got pushed to the side. So some of these shades I do have in my project pan, so I've been using them, of course. But I've kind of been going for like this purple look. And I would take this shade right here, which is actually by Anastasia Beverly Hills in Dusty Mauve, and I would put that in my crease. I would deepen it with Vintage a little bit in the outer V, and then go in with this shade right here in Pillow Talk. And Pillow Talk is this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful lid shade. I would put that all over the lid and then highlight my inner corner with Whimsical. So let me swatch those for you so that you can see. But it's just this beautiful purple look. I wore it several times this month. And every time, I got compliments. And one time this lady was like, do people compliment you every time you wear that purple eyeshadow look? And I was like, yeah, kind of. Okay, so these are the shades here. This one right here is in the Dusty Rose. Dusty Rose, Dusty Ma, Dusty, whatever it's called. Dusty Rose, I think, by Anastasia. This one right here is in Vintage. Use this to deepen up the outer V. Then we have this lid shade, which I highly recommend. Super duper pigmented. My friend actually purchased it after she saw me wearing it one time in Pillow Talk. And then this for the inner corner in Whimsical. So, it's beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. That was a look I rocked several times this month. Then, I did get a palette for Christmas. Was it Christmas or my birthday? I think it was Christmas, from my friend Smegs, and it is the Urban Decay Born to Run. I went back and forth on this palette. At first I was like, yes, I want it, but I don't need it, so I shouldn't get it. But I travel a lot. I love the traveling theme. I love the pictures. I toiled with it. I went back and forth. Didn't end up getting it. My best friend Smegs got it for me, and I have really been enjoying it. There are some definite standout shades that I love, like Weekender, really good blending shade. I love Stranded and Blaze for the lid. They're really, really pretty. Breakaway is a nice, like, satin highlight shade. What else? I tried Double Life for like a dark look one day and it looked really pretty. Smog is really pretty. I did, um, I actually just did a palette bingo with this so I can link that here if you're interested in checking it out. I do love the shades, some of them more than others, but you get 
a ton of fallout. You get fallout out all over your face. So any time that I would use this palette, I had to go in with my eyes first to avoid the fallout all over my face. But I have been enjoying that. So I'm really happy that she picked that up for me. It's definitely a good palette. I don't think that I would say that it's like one that that I feel like I'm going to reach for all the time. Not that I don't love it. I mean, I do really like it. The shades are beautiful, but I think I have other palettes in my collection that I will probably reach for more. But that would definitely be an easy palette to travel with. Then, when the Friendcation palette by Dose of Colors Desi X Katie went on sale, I picked it up at Ulta Beauty. I did a test it out Tuesday on it. I will link it right here. I don't want to talk too much about this palette because I am going to have a follow-up review. I'll throw that up sometime this month, I think, is when I'm planning on filming that. A review talking about this eyeshadow palette. I'm also currently working on a three-in-one tutorial with this palette. These are the shades right here. Super beautiful. Like I said, don't want to talk too much about it because I am going to do a dedicated review. But that is the other palette that I have been using this month. So that is it. This is my January 2019 recap. These are the makeup products I have been using this month and what I think about them. I think that this style of video is going to be more fun for me to film, kind of a recap, just letting you know what I've been using instead of trying to strategically do a shop by stash and plan products out. I can just kind of reach for what I want and let you guys know how I feel about it at the end of the month. So if you like videos like this, let me know down below or give me a thumbs up. That will tell me that you like this style of video. But otherwise, that's going to do it for this one. Make sure you're subscribed before you go because I do post twice a week on Wednesdays and Saturdays with a bonus video up on Mondays and Tuesdays. Mondays or Tuesdays. But that's going to do it for this one. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!